All right, guys, this is session four on our lesson one where it says use place value to round numbers. Okay, we're using place value to round numbers, obviously. And now it's going to be a combination of rounding to the nearest tens and hundreds. Okay, so it says round 553 to the nearest ten. Okay, All right, so go ahead and so let, let's do that. So I write the number down first, right? 453 round to the nearest 10 what number is in the tens place yes it's the middle one huh not four because i said 400 okay so it's the middle one am i working with the four yet no just put that one down okay let's watch please there's no page number so you don't have to open the book okay so look at number to the right what does the three say to do to the five What? Yeah, it stays the same. Okay. If you look at the chart, it's three and then go straight across. Stays the same. All right. So again, what does the three say to do to the five? It stays the same. So put the five down and replace the three with zeros. zeros. Perfect. Okay. So let's watch the video there and focus. All right, look on page 21. It says, what is 362 rounded to the nearest 10? It says, look at how you could show your work using 10 blocks. So how many hundreds do I have? Three. How many tens? Six. Well, it's there's the six is in the tens place, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. We are on page 21. Okay, and then how many ones? Two. Two. It says the uh, the halfway number between the nearest tens is five ones. Okay, yeah. If I have on a number line from zero to, to ten, the middle one is five, right? Okay. But because the two is less than five, we round down. I I really don't like to say round down. It's just you just leave it the same. There's no change. So like this, three hundred and sixty-two. And again, what number's in the tens place? Six, the six. If I'm writing, what are you doing? Five. There you go. Okay. Am I working with the three yet? No, no that's the hundreds. So looking to the right, what does the two say to do to the six? It stays the same. Good. It stays the same. Okay. You're looking at the two and it goes straight across. It stays the same. And replace the two with? Zero. Zeros. Okay, the chart that's on the on the wall, I'm going to make a, a, an example for you, okay? I just have to print it. So that's what you should have right there. Somewhere in your book. Okay, so on page 21, you see that question number one where it says, what is 879 running right to the nearest hundreds though, right? All right, let's do this together. I got 879. Okay, what number is in the hundreds place? Seven. Eight. 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 Seven? Eight. Did I say 700? No. no, I said 879 because the nine is in the ones, the seven is in the tens, and the eight is in the hundreds. So what number is in the hundreds place? Eight. eight. Okay, I put a little X underneath. Okay, hold on. I don't need that. How bad? Look at number to the right. What does the seven say to do to the eight? What? What? So what's one plus eight? Nine. And replace these two numbers with? That's what you should have. Okay, it says there are all 416 third grade students at Lincoln Lincoln School. What is the number of third graders routed to the nearest hundreds? Well, look at your choices. 416. Okay. Okay. You can do it a couple ways. Number line. Okay. And again, I like to do it like this. This is on page 22, by the way. 416. Okay. What number is in the hundreds place? Four. Four. Look at them to the right. What does that one say to do to the four? Stays the same and replace these two numbers with 
So there was my answer. Four times a day. Which is letter what? A. A. Okay. Now Lynn chose C. She chose that. Did she get it right? No. If she chose 420, what what place value was she rounding in it to? Why? She was rounding in tens, not one hundred. Not hundreds, okay? Jolene scored not one hundred and ninety four points during the basketball season. What is one hundred and ninety four rounding ten years hundreds? No, well, let's do it again. Write the number down. One hundred and ninety four. What number is in the hundreds place? One. One. Looking over to the right. What does the nine say to do to the eight? Add one. To the one, sorry. So the nine tells me to add one to one. So what's one plus one? Two. Two. And replace these three numbers with? Zero. So what's the answer? 200, which is a D. This is on page 23. Okay, round to the nearest 10, which number will not round to 900 and 590, okay? So if I had if I had 590 on a number line, okay? It would So let's say this was 590, okay? And this would be 600 and this would be 580. Okay? So 585 that rounds to 590. 594 rounds to 590. If I have 584, that rounds to 580. If I have 595, that rounds up to 600. Okay? So which one of these does not, when you round it to the nearest 10, does not round up to 590? What do you guys think? A. Okay. Because this rounds to 590 because the 4 tells me the 9 stays the same. This rounds to 590 because the 8 tells me add 1 to 8, which is 9, right? And the 5 tells me to round up 8 as well. If I did 596, if I did 596, okay, I'm not working with, uh, with 5 yet because it says round to nearest 10. Okay, here's the tens place. Look at them to the right. What does six say? What does the six say to do to the uh, nine? What? Add one. Add one. So what's one plus nine? Plus nine. Ten. One plus nine. Ten. Well, I heard two, and that's wrong. One plus nine is ten. Put the uh, zero down. Care the one. One plus five is six, and replace this number with the six with zero. Okay, that's not five hundred and ninety, is it? Stop putting pencils in your mouth. Disgusting. Sorry, 24. Not 224. All right, it says, which numbers round to 250 when rounded to the nearest 10? Okay. What do you guys think? Actually, there's a couple of choices. This is 101, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 153. Is 153 rounded to 250? No, because that's only 100. Okay. All right. How about 250? Yeah, it's already rounded. <laughs> so B would be it. How about A? Look at that number line. Because isn't the dot closest to 250 than 200? A would be correct. Okay, how about D? No, because the 9 tells me add 1 to 5, which is 6, so that wouldn't be it. How about E? Yes, the 5 tells me add 1 to 4. Okay, on number 9, do this by yourself, where it says 465. Do that for me, please. All right, Chef, something like this. So, if I was you, I would write the number first, 465. Ask yourself, what number is in the hundreds place, everybody? 
What? Okay, listen carefully. Listen, I said 465. What number is in the hundreds place? Thank you. Look at number to the right. What does the six say to do to the four? Add one. What's one plus four? Five. And replace the other numbers with? Zero. I need two of them because there's two numbers that before that. This is what you should have right here. Go to page six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, did we do that already? Okay, well, we did that one already. So we did seven. Yeah, we did eight. I told you guys to do eight already. Okay, listen, you're going to do page nine for me, okay? We did eight. I told you guys not to do seven. And don't worry about six either. Okay, so just go to page nine. Go to page nine. You're already on page nine, Chiara. All right, so on page nine, this is what you need to do. Okay. Here's page nine. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay. It says round to the nearest ten first. Okay. And then you're going to round to the nearest hundreds. And then you're going to work this on, on your own. I would like to do it like this. You ready? That we have more. You have some room. Okay. So you have 776. Five, sorry, 500. And 76. Okay. What number is in the tens place? Seven. I'm not working with the five yet, so that I could write that one down. Look at number two there. What does six say to do to the seven? Add one. So what's one plus seven? Eight. Okay. And replace the six with? Zeros. So for that, I, you should be able to have enough room. Okay. Or you can even do it like this. Look. Maybe on this, just write it small like this. Here's the tens place. Okay, I'm not working with a five yet. Looking right to the right. What does six say to do to the, to the seven again? Add one. Add one. One plus seven is eight. And replace the six with zeros. So do it like that. Now we have room to work out the problem, okay? I'm writing. What are you supposed to be doing? Writing. Let's go. Now I have 576. Now it says round to nearest hundreds. So now what number is in the hundreds place? Five because I said five hundred and seventy six. Okay, so put an X underneath the five. Make put a little arrow pointing to the seven. What does seven say to do to the five? Add one. Add one. one plus five is six. And replace these two numbers with zeros. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Okay. You see where it says 35? Let's do that one. So if I have 35, now what number is in the tens place? Three, right? Because I said 30. I didn't say 50. <laughs> okay, I said 30. So put an X right there. Looking over to the right. What does the five say to do to the three? So what's one plus three? Four. And replace the five with? Zeros. Now, I have 35, right? It says round to the nearest 10, right? Here's the hunter's place. I don't have anything, do I? No. So if I if I have 35 on, on, on the number line, is 35 closer to zero or 100? There's your answer. This is 35. 